real quick before I show you guys the video, just wanted to add this part in because I didn't really make myself too clear exactly how the accident happened. Um, when I was behind the Kia and I went around like this because we were in the outside lane, there's two lanes here, turn lane in the center and two lanes on the other side. I was behind that Kia and when I went out and around like this, um, I got up in front of them, looked in my mirror to make sure they turned. And when I was going like this, the guy was uh, coming at me. And instead of waiting, there was nobody in that turn lane. Instead of waiting, he just went to try and cut in front of me and make his turn. But if he would have waited like five more seconds, it literally would have prevented this from happening. But anyway... He turned over and tried to get into the uh, five guys there right before um, I got up to him. So it was all on him. Like I said in the video, he got a ticket. I wasn't at fault for it. And I don't even think five guys was open because, like I also mentioned in the video, this was like 8.45, 8.50 at night. So I don't even think they were open, but either way, he was trying to get in there for some reason or another and ended up not making it in there. So just wanted to get that out to you guys before I show you the video, just so you know what happened exactly. And yeah, so I guess uh, normally I would say enjoy the video, but this ain't really a video to enjoy. I mean... Just kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so here it is. What's up, guys? So it is a video that I didn't ever think I'd be making on this channel, nor did I ever want to make a video on this topic. But one thing I am noticing before we get into it is the screen is like kind of white and has like this whitish tinge to it, but I have my window right here. So the sun beating in is kind of messing with it, but, uh, anyway, so one night I was driving down a busy road and there's two lanes on one side, a turn lane in the center and two lanes on the other side. Well, this Kia Soul was in front of me. We were both in that outside lane, put his signal on to turn, didn't turn, went up a little bit further, put his signal on again. So I was like, all right, well, whatever. I was in a bit of a rush trying to get to an auto zone before they closed. It was like 8.50, 8.45, something like that at night, and they closed at 9. So um, they were in front of me like this. And then I can't really do this with the phone that way, but whatever. So they were in front of me. This is the Kia Soul. This is me back here. So... I went around them, and when I got up in front of them, I looked in my mirror, put my signal on just to make sure they turned, and when I looked back like this, the guy was right in front of me. Now, there was nobody in that turn lane in the center. Like, I was moving over. I saw that turn lane. There was nobody there. So, look up. Guy's right there. I slam on the brakes, try to crank the wheel to the left. Didn't work out, so... Therefore, ended up clipping the back end of him, and I uh, hit with the front passenger side of my vehicle, so it uh, destroyed my headlight, bent the hood up and back a little bit. Didn't move the whole hood, it just like bent it back and up, so that's all bent on that side. Then the fender got bent in and pushed back a little bit. So you can't open the door completely on the passenger side. Uh, the tie rod got snapped. The A-frame got bent. I actually went and looked at a trailblazer earlier this morning. And uh, that was pretty good. Uh, has everything I need. So I'm going to be getting that fixed. And hopefully Charlotte will be back on the channel. And you guys can see her here soon. And... I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but that's the name I gave the Trailblazer. Um, also, I do have two other videos right now 
that. I'm just going to wait to upload because I don't want to upload three in one day and then have nothing for the rest of the week or next week, whatever. So I'm just going to upload them. Uh, what's today? Today's Saturday. So I'll probably upload the next one like Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Uh, that's the one on the truck. But anyway, yeah, so his vehicle, all the airbags went off. Mine didn't go off because I wasn't even doing 30 when I hit him. And all his airbags went off, though. And I got out. I was cussing at him and everything because that vehicle was my first one. I've had it since I was 15, and that thing was my baby. So anything that ever happened to it, like, it kind of upset me a little bit. And then in this instance, I was really irritated with that guy. And he didn't even get out for, like, five minutes, and I'm just cussing at him and everything. And then finally cooled down and came back to reality a little bit and I didn't apologize for it at all because I mean he was in the wrong so I mean there's no reason for me to apologize to this guy for his stupidity and after police and everything showed up told them what happened uh, he got a ticket I didn't get a ticket because I wasn't in the wrong for it so, um, then I sprained my wrist from it. My brother and his fiance were in the vehicle. Uh, my brother bruised his knee and hyperextended it, I believe. So he had a nice brace on it from like halfway up his thigh all the way down to his ankle almost. So, uh, then I think they put him on crutches for maybe a week or so, I don't remember, but yeah, so we all made it out, nothing bad really happened to us, we didn't break anything, everything was all good, um, what else, the Blazer, she can't obviously be driven right now because of the A-frame being bent and the tie rod snapping on that side, Still runs. It didn't leak anything at all. Everything is still pretty good, um, fluid-wise and whatnot. So, yeah, it was it was definitely a life-changing incident. That's for sure. I mean, it was like three months ago now, so I kind of got used to the fact and accepted the fact that it happened at this point because it happened so long ago now but at first i mean my whole world shut down with it being my first vehicle and everything like uh i don't know it just sucked but it is what it is it happened so yeah i was gonna make this video a lot sooner but i just i don't know didn't really feel like it i guess and so I didn't, but here we are now making the video, so you guys know what's going on. I am going to try to make videos in the future on, um, like, restoring her a little bit and doing other stuff to it, because I have a lift kit here that I still have to put in it and everything, so I'm going to try to get those videos out once I get it back and she's good to be driven and on the road and everything again. And uh, it'll definitely be nice to hear that 4-2 sound again. That was nice. That straight six, man. There's, I don't know, for me, there's no other sound like it. Because mine was straight piped and nobody around here has a straight pipe trailblazer. So, it's definitely different to hear it coming down the road. Everybody breaks their necks. They're like, whoa, what's that? You know, and do the same with the truck because that's straight pipe but uh yeah so the video on the truck like i said or maybe i didn't mention it i don't remember to be honest with you that i made and it's just going through the editing process now well i edited the video and it's just doing its converting process on my other phone there and then because I did a couple different clips and so it's just kind of coming together as one and then after that I'll be ready to upload. So I'll probably upload that um, Monday.
Monday or so, and then that'll be out for you guys to see that so you can see the truck finally and all that stuff. So just want to make a quick video here. Don't want to keep you guys hanging for too long, but that's what happened. Um, I don't know if there's anything I left out with the accident. It might be, it might not be. I mean, I just didn't want to get into the whole story. But yeah, so that's basically the gist of what happened. And yeah, so I guess with that being said, uh, hopefully you guys stick around to see the videos on the truck. And for those of you that watch the channel that are into the gaming videos, uh, Forza Horizon 5 is out for me because I got premium. So I'll be making videos on that as well. And then there'll be more videos on the truck coming here soon. So definitely stick around if you like car content. And I will catch you guys in the next one.